On 25 February 2022, Russian forces attacked Ukraine from all sides. Russian President Vladimir Putin told the world that if anyone tries to meddle in this matter, then consequences will be severe. Russian helicopters and fighter jets were seen flying low over many cities in Ukraine and firing rockets in some instances. And among them Putin's main target was the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, Kiev. In this unexpected attack where several hundred people lost their lives at the same time, millions of Ukrainians were forced to leave their homes. To save lives, many people hid in the basements and few considered metro stations to be the safe place. Suddenly, every nook and corner of Ukraine reverberated with the sounds explosions and emergency sirens. Europe was witnessing a war of this level for the first time since World War II. The map of Europe, which was being made by political coalition for the last 70 years, now Vladimir Putin wants to redraw it according to his plans. And that too depending upon military strength. But why? Despite being 27 times larger than Ukraine, why Russia is fearful of a small Ukraine? Why is Russian president interested in Ukraine? And if he doesn't do that, what will he lose? Welcome once again in our videos. To understand this matter well and in easy terms, it is very important to understand a few events in the past. Ukraine used to be a part of Russia about a hundred years ago. When this whole area was under the Romanov dynasty for many centuries. In the early 1900s people were fed up with their Russian king. And finally when their patience wear thin, in 1917 the Russian Revolution overthrew the Romanov dynasty and overturned the throne of the Russian Empire. People were fed up with the system of these kings and now it was time to form a new government. In the process of creating this new government, the Russian revolutionists fought among themselves and entire Russia got itself into a civil war. When the civil war ended, 13 different republics, including Russia and Ukraine, formed the Soviet Union in 1922 i.e. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or the USSR. Ukraine, which got independence from the Russian Empire, just five years ago, now it has become a part of the USSR. To them, it was like taking a bird out of cage and thrown into another. Well time passed and USSR became very powerful day by day. After World War II, the hold of the USSR became stronger in this area. The Soviet Union in one part of Europe, while the other part was under the influence of Western powers. These Western powers included Canada and UK as well as America. World War II was over, but political animosity between the United States and the Soviet Union continued. And the biggest reason for this enmity was the very important difference between these two powers. The difference was that the Soviet Union maintained a communist government. That is, whatever business or trade happens in the country, it will not be given to any individual person. Rather, each person was be given a share according to his need. While the countries supporting the United States were having a capitalist system, in which any private, individual or company can generate profit as much as it wants by doing its business. The problem was that America wanted its system to be implemented all over the world. Whereas the Soviet Union wanted communism become predominant all over the world. Due to this difference in the ideology, a cold war started between these two powers. Although weapons and force were not used in this war, but secretly, Soviet Union and American powers continued to attack each other politically. Situation intensified so much that both the powers had to strengthen their military alliance further. In 1949, the countries supporting America created North Atlantic Treaty Organizations NATO, in which it was decided that if any NATO country is attacked, then all other NATO members will defend it together. The formation of NATO was dangerous in every way for the Soviet Union. Because if all the NATO countries can defend each other, then all of them can also attack the Soviet Union together. When the Soviet Union realized NATO's power, then they signed a similar pact among themselves which was named as Warsaw Pact, even though these two powers had formed organizations to save each other. But secretly the Cold War still alive, because after all, there was such a big difference in their ideology. For the entire 42 years, this Cold War continued like this, in which the goal of both the powers were to weaken each other. And finally one side became weak. In 1991, 
republics like Ukraine made the decision to separate themselves from the Soviet Union. The different member republics of USSR now wanted to become independent countries. Soviet Union formed by combining 15 republics was now divided into 15 different independent countries. And with this, the Warsaw Pact signed by them become dysfunctional. Ukraine finally managed to become an independent country once again. Countries that gained independence from the Soviet Union could now take their own decisions. So first of all, they overthrow the communist government imposed on them. Russia which was earlier strong because of the Soviet Union as was now weakling in the eyes of the world. Despite the end of the Cold War the alliance of Western powers did not budge. Rather, their power only increased. Poland and the Czech Republic and Hungary, these three countries that gained independence from the Soviet Union, turned the tide and joined to NATO in 1999. The trend of joining NATO increased day by day and in 2004 seven more countries also joined NATO. That is, the republics which were earlier supporting Russia were now become a part of NATO's alliance. And this was first time when Russia's borders came in direct contact with NATO. Now only three countries were left which did not join NATO. Belarus, Ukraine and Georgia. Among them, Ukraine and Georgia have long wanted to join NATO. But Russia could not tolerate this. At the same time, Russia sensed the danger that if these two countries also joined NATO, then its access to the Black Sea could be stopped at any time. Viewers, let us tell you here that after the US and Saudi Arabia, Russia is the third biggest producer of oil and gas and exports it to the international market through the Black Sea. And this was the reason why Russia was opposing Ukraine and Georgia's joining NATO. But Ukraine's desire to join NATO still continued. Not only that but in 2013 Ukraine also expressed its desire to join the European Union. Remember that at this time the president of Ukraine was Petro Poroshenko, who was considered a friend of Russia and quite corrupt. When the time came to sign the deal with the European Union, the president of Ukraine took a huge amount from Russia in the name of a bailout package and refused to sign the deal with the European Union. By saying that Ukraine will support Russia in every matter, it would not be wrong to say that Russia bribed the Ukrainian president for not joining the European Union. When this news hit the media, Thousands of protesters came out on the streets in Ukraine and demanding Ukraine to be a part of the European Union. The pressure of the protesters increased day by day and finally the Ukrainian president started crackdown on them, in which more than a hundred people were killed. Seeing this, the protesters became more violent and the matter reached such an extent that the Ukrainian president had to leave his post and flee Russia. Fleeing of the president was a victory to the protesters. At the same time, Putin was considering it as his defeat. So now Putin started using power. First the Russian army occupied the Ukrainian-controlled peninsula, spanning the Black Sea. After that, with the help of separatists, they captured two areas of Ukraine bordering Russia, Donetsk and Luhansk. Russia greatly helped the separatist group who demanded the separation of these two regions from Ukraine. A lot of blood was shed in both these regions for the whole eight years in which more than 14,000 people lost their lives, while 2 million Ukrainians were forced to leave these regions. Actually separation of Donetsk and Luhansk from Ukraine was in favor of Putin in every way. And this was the reason why Putin was supporting them a lot. Putin's intentions came to the forefront in November 2021, as seen from the satellite image millions of Russian troops being moved to the border of Ukraine. And a few weeks later, Putin expressed his demands. Putin's main demand was that NATO should not expand in this area and take their military back to the same distance as it used to be in 1997. That is, far away from Russian border. This demand of Putin was immediately rejected by the Western leaders and increased their forces even more. On the other hand, Russian troops remained busy encircling Ukraine from all sides and also kept doing heavy military drills on the border. On the 21st of February 2022 Putin came live and accepted Donetsk and Luhansk Republic as separate countries. And Russian troops entered these two regions as peacekeeping forces. On the other hand, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky sent Russians a video message, saying war will only bring destruction to the citizens of both the countries. Western leaders say that Ukraine is an independent country and we cannot stop anyone from joining NATO. Two days later, 
On the 24th of February 2022, Putin openly attacked the whole of Ukraine in the name of special military operation. European Commission President, UK Prime Minister and US President Joe Biden condemned this action of Russia and said that Putin and Russia will have to pay for this. Anti-war protesters were seen raising slogans in favor of Ukraine all over the world. In Russia itself, thousands of protesters came out in favor of Ukraine. NATO's response force swung into action for the first time in history and America sent its troops to the border of Eastern Europe. Whole world is supporting Ukraine, but not confronting Russia directing. Because Russia has the world's largest arsenal of nuclear weapons. And Putin has already threatened that if anyone tries to meddle, the result will be very bad. Instead of physical assault, America and other countries has started imposing sanctions on Russia. Due to this the economy of Russia will suffer a lot and perhaps Putin can be restrained by doing this. Hope you have understood to a great extent this issue between Russia and Ukraine. Do post your comment about this special video. We'll see you again in the next awesome video.